This is question 20. Here I'm told that the histogram shows information about the areas of some farms. Then I'm told that 90 of the farms have an area of 10 hectares or less, that 60% of the farms with an area of 100 hectares or less are arable farms, and half of the farms with an area of more than 100 hectares are arable farms. I'm asked to work out an estimate for the total number of arable farms. So when we are given a histogram, the key idea about histograms is that frequency, so that the frequency is proportional to the area of the bars. So frequency is proportional to the area of the bars. Now, a nice thing to do here, and, and what we're going to do, is we're going to just take a little look at this first sentence. I'm told that 90 of the farms have an area of 10 hectares or less. So what that tells me is that this bar right at the beginning, that this has is worth a total or is representing a frequency of 90. So what I'm going to do is to help this piece of information work out what the frequencies are for the rest of the graph, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to split the histogram into smaller squares. Now what I can see is that if the frequency for this bar is 90, if I split this down into these smaller squares, I can say that each one of those is going to be 30 each. So what this then allows me to do is it allows me to figure out what the rest will be. So I know that one of those small squares is equal to a frequency of 30. One other thing that I'm also going to do, and, and we'll take a look at why, is because if I look at this second, if I look at the second bar, what I can see here is that I've got 30, 30, 30, up to there. Then this next square has got a little bit extra. So I've got 30 up to that point, and then I've got a small strip on the top. Now Let's also define how much a small strip must be worth. If a whole square here is 30, what I can see is that each of these squares that I've defined as being 30 have five strips that they're made up from. So that means that a smaller strip is simply going to be 30 split into five of those smaller strips so one of those small strips must be worth six. So that little strip there on the top is going to be worth six. So the frequency of farms that are that have an area between 10 and 20 is going to be 30, 60, 90, 120, 126 in total. So the reason that I'm doing this is so that I can figure out how many farms there are in total. Then I can work out what 60% of the farms which are less that have an area of less than 100 hectares work out half of the amount that have more than 100 hectares, and that will give me my answer, which I'm looking for, which is an estimate for the total number of arable farms. So following the rest of this through, I can see that I can split this bar here can see that these are going to be 30 each. Then I've got another situation here where I've got one, two, three strips. Each strip is worth six, so those part boxes must be worth 18 each. And so in total here, I've got 30 plus 30 plus 30 plus 18 plus 18 plus 18. So that's going to be 90 plus 54 for uh, 144. The next one, what I can see on this next one is that these small boxes are made up of strips of four. So one, two, three, four. So four, stri four strips of six means that each of those is going to be worth 24. So 24, 24, 24 all the way along and so 524s that means that that bar 
as a frequency of 120. So there are 120 farms that have an air that have an area between 50 and 100 hectares. Onto this next one, I can see these ones are full boxes, so they're going to be 30 each. And then these last in this last in this last bar, I can see it's one, two, three strips of six, so they're going to be worth 18 each. So they're going to be worth that bar there is worth 54, this one's worth 60. Then, using this information, 60% of the farms with an area of 100 hectares or less are arable farms. So how many farms are less than 100 hectares? Well, that's simply going to be 120 plus 144 plus 126 plus 90. Uh, so what's that going to come to? That's going to come to 150, 270, 360, 480. So it's going to be 60%, 60% of 60% of 480. And then added to that, it's going to be half of the ones which are more than 100 hectares. So half of more than 100 hectares. So half of and that's going to be 60 plus 54. Uh, so that's going to be half of 114. So half of 114 is going to be 57. And then 60% of 480. Uh, so 50% would be 240. 10% uh, would be 48. So 60% is going to be uh, 288 and then adding these together I'm going to get 288 plus 57 so 288 plus 57 and that's going to give me an answer of 345 so final answer here an estimate for the total number of arable farms is going to be 345